In this recording, we look at a couple of common errors that people make in cancelling certain types of algebraic fractions. In particular, we look at a couple of common errors people make in dealing with the example shown here, seeing if we can simplify the following algebraic fraction, 2 plus a divided by 2 plus b. And a common error is to get tempted by the fact that both the numerator and the denominator have the number 2. So a common mistake is to cancel the twos from both numerator and denominator and say the twos are gone, they've disappeared, what are we left with? A divided by B. So what's wrong with that? Well, there's a couple of things wrong with that. First of all, if we were able to cancel the twos by division, two divided by 2 would be equal to 1, whereas this is implying that 2 divided by 2 gives 0. So that is the first thing wrong. So that answer is no good. Maybe then we can fix it by saying, OK, 2 divided by 2 is 1, therefore this becomes 1 plus a divided by 1 plus b. Is there anything wrong with that? Have we solved the problem? Unfortunately that is still incorrect. Why is that incorrect? Well the reason that is wrong is that you cannot cancel single terms in an algebraic expression. The number 2 would actually have to be taken out of the whole expression on both numerator and denominator in order for this to work. And you might like to verify, if you're not convinced yet, that this doesn't work by plugging in numbers for a and b. You'll find that in fact you get a very different result for this number to this one. But what should we have done instead then? Well, I'll return to this example in just a minute. But first, let's think about an example where it would have been fairly simple to take out a common factor. Suppose instead of having that, suppose our original expression had been, let's say, 2 plus 2a divided by 2 plus 2b. Then, because every term there is a multiple of 2, we could have taken 2 out as a common factor on the numerator, leaving 2 lots of 1 plus a, and similarly on the denominator, 2 plus 2b would have left us with 2 times 1 plus b when we took the 2 outside as a common factor. Then we could have cancelled those out and we would have been left with 1 plus a divided by 1 plus b. But reverting back to this example that we started with, 2 plus a divided by 2 plus b, here we saw that 2 was not a whole number multiple of a or a whole number multiple of b, meaning that if we were to take it out as a common factor here, given we would also have to do this for a and b, we would actually end up with a slightly more complicated expression if we did this properly. Why is that? Well, taking 2 out as a common factor on the numerator, the first term 2 is 2 times 1, but to get a, if we've taken 2 out the front as a common factor, a would be 2 times 1 half a. And similarly on the denominator, taking 2 out as a common factor, that leaves us with 2 is 2 times 1. But to get b, by taking 2 out as a common factor, b must be 2 times 1 half b. So that if we were going to take 2 out as a common factor and cancel, we would get 1 plus a half a divided by 1 plus a half b, which would be correct. But in a case like this, where there's no number, and for that matter no letter, that's a common factor to every one of the terms on the numerator and denominator, it would usually be considered simplest to just leave it alone in the original form. And we have also put together a couple of maths casts on cases where there are common factors 
that you can cancel. So you might now also want to have a look at those.